Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount from Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. So don't forget to check the description for details. Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Tech. Here today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the big new update of WinLater Glib C. Now this time, there have been a lot of changes and a lot of improvements in terms of performance. All right, here they added new Box64 RC, allowing different Box64 parameters to be set for each process. Along with they added some things like Content Manager, means you can install custom drivers, shortcuts, file provider, and they also fixed some issues. Also, some abnormal issues on some chipsets like Snapdragon 870. They fixed some issues on Wine that's caused by Steam. You can also set DXVK parameters via environment variables. All right, they also removed some old DXVK version 0.96, 1.10.3. These components will now be provided through add-ons. And the latest Wine version. They added WCP file extension for add-ons and RCP file for custom box 64 configuration files. All right, simply download this package file. If you already installed this glibc version, you could directly update. Right, also one more. The latest turnip driver for WinLater got new update of revision two. This will improve a lot of performance. Download the file. Now open WinLater. For better performance, set battery to unrestricted. Now open, enable storage permission. Tap on three dots. Here, as you can see, they added some new options. We have shortcuts, Box 64 RC file, contents, settings as usual. All right, so go to settings. Currently it's running on the latest Wine 9.15. Set Box 64 version to default 0.3.0. Set Box 64 preset to performance. So these are the main settings, all right. Now let's head over to input controls. These are same as usual. Here customize the RTS profile, controls based on you want. Now get back, let's go to Box 64 RC file. Here there is a profile, set it to default. Here there is a stream and flat out versions. So I'll leave these settings to default. Now contents. Here you can be able to see you can import your custom drivers of turnip wine, box 64 or whatever. So here I wanna import the latest turnip driver file. The file should be ended up with WCP extension. You can actually get file from their site. Now simply install content. Here import the downloaded file. As you can see, it shows file type, version details and info. Select continue. So the content gets installed successfully. On settings, yeah, already we changed. Go to containers section, add container, select display resolution, same as usual. Okay, now select the turnip driver we installed now. Select DXVK version. We have up to the latest 2.4 async version. I'll go with default. Select audio driver to pulse audio. All these settings are same as usual. Set video memory to maximum. All right, now go to environment variables. Like a lot of people have issue with FPS meter, like it's not showing create new environment variable, select variable to DXVK HUD, set value to one and okay. Now select DXVK HUD, enable the things you wanna display like FPS, info, frame times. All right, now go to advanced, preset already set to performance. RC file is disabled. Select startup selection to essential or aggressive mode which completely stops services. Set affinity to all CPU cores for both. Now save and boot the container. There we go to start. System tools, wine configuration, select Windows 10. Let's check out the Direct3D. Well, it's working. DXVK HUD FPS meter also displayed as we set. And one more thing, you need to configure the turnip driver to wine system. Same I mentioned on my previous video. Copy the turnip driver file, which we downloaded in the very beginning. Go to Z directory, user lib folder, paste the file here. Yes, confirm. Now restart the WinLater again. All right, guys. So now we are done with importing all the stuff. Now let's test out some titles. If you turn off the V-Sync, you can even expect more FPS, like 40 to 50, for a proper Snapdragon 870 or 888 or even higher for better performance on this game. Here's my box. Come on, Nestor. We're giving you everything you want. I don't even think about it. 
I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, God. Get in there. Sit tight. I'll handle the plastic. Don't blow yourself up. Pay attention. Well, let's go. Hurry. What's he doing? Em, get these assholes in the closet. Leave us alone. We didn't do shit to you. I said the closet. Get him in there. Come on. In the back. Come on. All right, so now I'm going to test the Stray PC, a very intensive DirectX 12 title. Based on Unreal Engine 4 set to 768p low resolution, this time we are getting almost like good performance FPS. In this last update, this game only lasts like I mean 10 to 15 FPS or something, but this time more than 20s. That's crazy, right? This game uses a lot of GPU memory resources that even it's a small in size compared to GTA 5 that uses less than two gigs in GPU memory in low resolution. Even the phone's screen recorder crashed with this game. Anyways guys, that's all for today's video. Hope you liked. Also subscribed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.